All right, so let's get this air cleaner off. First, grab my socket wrench, grab 5 16 Allen. Cover comes off. So at this point, pull the breather hoses, and there's your three torque screws. Pull those up. The full filter assembly will pop off, leaving us just the 7 16. This is where the extension comes in handy because otherwise your wrench is going to hit that version of the back plate. Again, I'll usually dish the wrench and do the last little bit by hand since I find it a bit faster. And that is it. Air cleaner is off. Now is a good time to go ahead and wipe this down. Sometimes a bit of oil can come out of these breathers. Get nice and clean. Let's get ready for that VO2 Rogue install. All right guys, now that we have all of our parts laid out for the VO2 rope, what we'll want to do is take our backplate spacer, make sure that the notch is on the left and that the air is directing in towards the induction module. If you have this loop around the wrong way, it'll have a nice sharp point, it won't really fit. So make sure that the notch is on the left and that the conical portion is directing inward, not outward. Then what you'll do is you'll take your hoses, lube them up, uh, either with just some spare motor oil you've got lying around, or um, any sort of spray lubricant. What you want to do is get them in there, start twisting. So there we have this guy pre-installed. Next bit is we're going to start installing everything, working our way forward on the bench. So back plate spacer, again, notch on the left for the gasket. Then we're going to take our back plate. Then what we'll do is we'll grab our venturi, grab the bolts, start working through. Now it might take a bit to line them up. Once you get the first one, it's not too bad. You sort of have to just jiggle everything around until you get it right. There goes number two. And number three falls into place. So what you notice now is I basically have my whole backplate assembly. So the bolts are in, venturi, backplate, backspacer, which also doubles as a venturi, and the gasket. So let me spin this around so you guys can take a look at it from the other end and from the side. And so this is the easiest way to install it. Once I get this assembly together, it can just pop right onto the induction module and we're good to go. All right, so now I'm back to the bike. Take the breather hardware that's included in the VO2 road kit, get it threaded. Again, do it by hand if you can. And what I'll do is take my same 7 16 socket, get that going. So when I pulled the other air cleaner off, before I did anything else, this went first, because I don't want to move this up and down, and again, create that loop way back there at the heads, my induction module seals. So now what I'll do is I'll take this whole assembly, making sure that I've got the gasket in the proper spot, put that back on, because sometimes it's tough to pick up the whole assembly, the gasket likes to stay on the table, and get this guy lined up. Do is I'll usually get a couple threads by hand. Take the rear hose, put it on the rear breather bolt. Take the front hose. That one actually fell in place, so I didn't have to do it, which is kind of cool. And then these are the standoffs to the VO2 rope cover. Now you'll notice there's two different sides. There's a wider flange and a shorter one. The shorter one goes against the cover. This guy goes against the back plate. So what I'll usually do is I will take our cover and our filter. What you want to do is utilize this piece to cover this metal portion of the cover. So we'll get that guy on there just like that. So we hide it, put it up against, and then put pressure on it. Slide that guy in here. Again, holding it in place. Take your ARP hardware, slide it in. Get a little bit done there by hand. Grab the second piece of hardware and backlight spacer. Go to the other side, diagonally if you can. 
keep it supportive. Get a couple threads in, and that's it. Now I can put this on a lot easier. Switch my screw gun over to my 5 16 12 point for the ARP hardware. Tighten her down. So that is it. That is how you install a VO2 Rogue Air Cleaner. Now I'll move on to the mufflers. We'll take our 5 8 socket and remove the torque and clamp for the right side muffler. And then we'll swap the 5 8 out for a half inch. Pull the hardware holding the muffler to the saddlebag support bracket. Now I do like deep well sockets for this just because it helps me get over the bracket. Support the muffler from the bottom. Pull out the hardware. And keep it aside here because we are going to use that when we put the Torker 450s on in place. You notice this will drop down. You give it a little pull in each direction and then just rock it back and forth until it pops off. All right, so we've got our Torker 450, so let's go ahead and get this installed. And get this guy lined up. Take the same bracket and put the screws back in. Now what I'll tend to do is I will get the screws in first, tighten them down, just barely snug the Torca clamp. And the reason for that is I want to have the ability to rotate my muffler outward and inward so that way the logo is perfectly level with the ground and I still want the ability to move the muffler in and out so that way it's level with the left side muffler. So just a little bit there and we'll go do the other side. Now we're looking above down at the bike so we'll take our level and we'll put it on the muffler body on the right and as you can see, I've got about a quarter inch gap on the left. So what I want to do is grab the muffler, rotate it out a bit, try again, and now I am level. So at this point, what I want to do is I want to ensure that the logos are straight up and down. This one could use a bit of a turn to the right. And this guy needs to go inbound a little bit. All right, perfectly level, lined up. Go ahead and lock them down. Now that our Torker 450s are installed, we want to make sure we take a rag and wipe these down. Always, always, always important when you're installing exhaust to make sure you get them nice and clean. So that way you don't burn in any fingerprints. Make sure everything looks really, really good for a long, long time. All right, so now we'll go ahead and get the FP3 app fired up. As you can see, I'm already connected to the bike and my firmware is currently up to date. Now we'll go to the View Edit Maps page. It's available. Add the plus sign to go ahead and add a new map, and we'll look for the Vance and Hines Torker 450 map. 